major ABS issue I've been dealing with for a year finally solved. Got more details on that. Snow out of South Dakota. A road was damn near impossible to see. Uh, load number five for L on Wheels and more on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and fuzzy studio audience. Yeah, that's Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker Channel. All right, parked here at uh, the Petro in Rochelle, Illinois. Today is Friday the 24th. Um, yeah, so uh, the, the other morning uh, I was going to leave. Let's see, when was that? Because I, I picked up that load in um, Auburn, Washington on Monday. And then I made it to, uh, oh, where was it? Deer Lodge, Montana, right? There it was. And then made it to Box Elder, uh, South Dakota. And I was going to leave later that night. I wake up that night to snow. Yeah, I uh, wasn't expecting that. Uh, before that, though, I did have uh, another uh, uh, subscriber come by, and he caught me when I came down and opened my curtain just to take a little quick break there while sleeping. And uh, there's a park, pickup parked in front of me. I'm like, who's this? Hey, I just got up here and uh, found a, a pickup parked in front of me here, and I was like, who is that? And then this guy came over, and he said his name is Michael. He's a subscriber. And, and, uh, you, you live around here. You said you, you saw you in my video this morning. You knew I was in box and decided to come by and say hello. So, yes. nice, nice to meet you. I didn't wake him up either. It's good nope. shot. No, I, I, I woke up. I was I woke up from my old nap. I was going to go back to bed. So you caught me just at the right time here. Yeah. So, Michael, so nice to have you come by. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. So we got to talk for a few minutes, and I went back to bed. And then I woke up later. Yeah, to snow. And uh, I waited a while because I'm like, well, maybe this wasn't predicted. I uh, wasn't expecting him. Well, maybe it's going to blow over. Well, I waited a while and it didn't, so I had to get going. But made for some uh, hectic driving. Well, I don't know how well the dash cam is picking any of this up, but uh, this is snow that I think was obviously not predicted. Didn't expect to wake up to snow tonight. Um, I don't think anybody did because they obviously haven't even plowed it all yet. Can't really tell where the road is. I'm just kind of driving down the middle best I can. I can feel the rumble strip off to the right side every now and then. I know I'm not going too far to the right. It's, uh, yeah, not something I was uh, expecting to run into for my drive tonight. I tend to like to drive overnight if the weather's good, but when it's like this, it's uh, tough to see the roadway. Get the little linear posts every now and then to kind of help you out or if there's a little section of guardrail there for a little bit with some reflectors on it that by like coming right up here onto the right that helps a little bit so you can tell where the edge of the road is but uh yeah didn't expect to uh wake up to this yeah, then uh, only about an hour and a half I had to deal with that, then ran out of that, so I was able to catch up on my time and made it all the way to uh, Portage, uh, Wisconsin, to that Petro. Uh, that's where we stayed last night, and then got up uh, early this morning and went to my delivery in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Uh, that went fairly well, then went to my next pickup in, um, oh, I can't, even, I can't even remember the name of the place. It's something weird. M-E-Q-U-O-N. McEwen? I'm guessing it's probably not correct put it in the comments if I've got it wrong picked up a load there and that's going uh, down to Dallas for a Monday delivery so I have plenty of time to deal with on this load so was, there's this ABS issue I've been trying to figure out uh, for damn near a year ever since I got the remodel done last year and came back out of the house um, whenever I'd had a ABS sensor issues before it was always on my rear drive axle because I don't have any sensors on the uh, first uh, drive tire axle. So I stupidly had been thinking now for the past year that that was the thing code I was getting because it looks almost exactly the same and I when I was parked last night I looked more carefully at that code and it said one uh, right. Looked up the codes on the internet and it showed all the different ones and it did point out the fact that one means the steer axle. <coughs> I was talking to Elliot on the phone at the time and I was like Elliot have I had this wrong this whole time and he was saying yeah that well it sounds like it might be the steer axle to me and uh, he said well because he had a an inspection once and they said well axle three you've got a flat tire so 
that's where it made sense to him, one, two, and three, and yeah, now that I think about it that way, yeah, it makes perfect sense, so you know, I was like, have I been replacing sensors on the rear axle this whole time, and that's why I keep getting the ABS light? So I thought, let me see if I can get that fixed today. So when I got here to this Petro, I checked in, I only had to wait, oh, about half hour, 45 minutes, they got me in, they replaced that sensor, and funny thing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boop, that's been my problem for a freaking year. Proving you can do this job for a long time and still be a moron takes a big man to admit when he's wrong. I am not a big man. No, I, I, am, I, I am admitting that I was wrong. But it just didn't even dawn on me. I saw the one I should have known. Well, now I know. <laughs> that was telling me the steer axle ABS sensor was the one that was bad on the right side. So now we think they got that fixed. It only cost me a couple hundred bucks. I rotated my steer tires, which I needed to do because I got to take that tire off anyway to get to the sensor. So I had them rotate them. And uh, a problem that's been a year in the making uh, has finally been solved. So only 908 miles uh, from here down to my delivery in Texas on uh, in Dallas area for Monday morning. Uh, I, I don't like to stay in the Dallas area. I'm going to stay about an hour and a half away up in Oklahoma Sunday night. So I've only got to drive like, uh, oh, Oh, I think six and a half, seven hours tomorrow, and then I drive like five hours on Sunday, and then I shoot on in there on Monday. I deliver, and I've got another load looked, booked already through Coyote again to get me back home. And I'll pick up in Dallas. It delivers in the uh, Denver area to Shamrock Foods. God, I hate that place. Ah, uh, back when I used to have to do reefers, I had to go there a lot, and boy, are they the worst. They take forever. Uh, so I, I'm not planning on being home anytime before Wednesday night. But then that gives me Thursday to try to get this whole air compressor issue I've been dealing with also fixed. Then basically everything's done. I do need to get some new drive tires soon, but you know, uh, the major things that are problems I want to get fixed and so we can get that done. Then I can get reloaded. i uh, got all the groceries waiting for me. My wife's going to go ahead then right before I get home and get the breads and the milks and things like that that expire. Uh, I did find, oh look at this t-shirt. See, keep on trucking, baby. Uh, when I was at the Road Ranger up in Wisconsin, up the road, they had a bin of, of t-shirts for five bucks. I'm like, well, if they got a few in my size, let's see what I can find. I found this one, and I took pictures of all of them. So here's the back of the one I'm wearing now. Uh, a nice big picture with the eagle and the keep on trucking. Here's the front of another one I got. And the back of that one, powered by diesel, gear to fear. And a little dear American head on the front of this one. And here's the what the picture is on the back. 15 bucks for three shirts. Yeah, that's the kind of math clutch trucker likes to do. All right, so that's about it. Yeah, just proving that, uh, yeah, I can be a moron too, and I will admit it. Uh, should have known. You know, you're looking at it now, yeah, obvious dingling. You should have known that one was telling you it's the front axle, the first axle, the steer axle. But I, you know, I just I saw the right, and that's what I kept thinking. Oh, it's the right rear. Didn't even dawn on me. Duh. Oh, well. At least it's finally fixed it didn't cost a lot and we got it done all right so we deliver in dallas we go home and get reloaded and we'll be back out here on the road on friday hopefully well thanks for tuning in for that one yep see even uh, you truck for 13 years and you can still uh make some stupid mistakes but we finally at least got it figured out right rusty it's a beautiful thing all right, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. Please like and comment. I get your comments as soon as I can. Sometimes it takes a few days because I'm a working truck driver. Oh, thank you. I love you too. Clutch Trucker on Instagram. Clutch Trucker on Twitter. Put a couple of rusty things up there earlier today. And as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. Just look at you. You can barely stand erect. Oh, yeah? Well, you were the inspiration for twin beds. And I'll tell you something else. Monty, don't start with mother. Start? I don't start in anything. It never ended. Well, since we've got the uh, bacon strips waiting for us at the house, we're going back to the Charlie Bear Original Crunch Doggy Treats that Helen and Elliot gave us. So, because he just loves these things too, baby. Right, Rusty? Oh, you're all over them. Oh, happy dog. They're just very small, so it's couple of bites and they're gone. All right, we'll give you a few more. Give you a few more. Happy dog. Yep. Loves the Charlie Bear snacks. <laughs> All right. A few more here. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. And there's the last one. Enjoy it. All righty. Happy dog. Rusty.